John? Uh, Javier Garcia, uh, excellent striker, good at scrambling from the floor, good top game. Uh, Peter Angra, German top team, uh, Abu Dhabi champion, good uh, time man, uh, and he's fought Shani Carter by experience, so uh, I can't wait for this one. Yeah, this should be good. Whoa! Oh, that's a slip there. Good counter. I actually, I actually heard a term for that punch. I actually heard a term for that punch that Peter did the other day. They call it the Superman one. You ah. fake, fake with the leg, jaw back, and then strike with the hand. Good sprawl from Peter, took guard. Now, this is going to be interesting. I mean, as you were saying, Abu Dhabi, um, I think he's the German champ. He did fight in the finals, yeah. uh, world finals in 2001. Uh, very good grappler. But then again, Javier Garcia, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, from what yeah. I understand. You know, very accomplished himself. Yeah, he seems to be in a, uh, <laughs> well, not a bit of a, a pickle. He's just, let's see what Peter's going to do now. You just saw Peter looking around. Looking around looking okay, head's popped oh, out. Okay. I'm waiting for something special from Peter here. Mm. Um, Javier's calm now in this position. Let's see what he's going to do. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be an interesting one. I mean, have you had the last last time he fought a grappler of um, his sort of ability was actually against uh, Fabrizio Nascimento, who's actually the champion. So obviously, yeah. Javier is looking for a rematch after this fight. Sure. Um, but Peter himself, I mean, what I've heard on the grapevine, because I'll be honest with you, I haven't actually seen any of Peter's fights myself, but he's very patient in yeah. these sort of fights as well. Um, he's happy to sit there, tie himself up. Good call by the ref. As I was about to say, actually, yeah. let things stand up. Because yeah, sure. the, he, I think he knows this is where his strong point is going to be against Javier. Yeah. Oh, short there. As the fight mutates now, we're going to see some good action. Oh, Javier seems a little bit stronger than a neck punch there. I would have said. Uh, there seems to be a, a slight weight difference. We're going to see that that may pay dividends for Javier in the uh, clinch. There was. Um, I think in oh, good exchange there. Very good. Uh, Peter takes guard, half guard. Oh, and he's passed. I think um, at the weigh-ins, uh, Angra weighed in at something crazy like 74 kilos. Right. Whereas Javier, was, uh, from what I gather, was bang on the 77. Yeah, he was, he was at the upper limit of the welterweight there. Um, let's see if Javier can make anything of his side control now. Um, Peter's got it scrambling from this position. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good to see. I mean, for those watching at home, yeah, Peter has hold of the neck of Garcia, but this... There's nothing now, is it? No, no. Very <laughs> extremely. Now, th those knees uh, are not really doing much. I mean, I, I would be more concerned with getting an, a, a knee ride or going through 12 o'clock position here for, for a, uh, a top to tail 69. Maybe working a top game r rather than kneeing the guy's arm. Um, I, don't think, I don't feel he's going to do anything. Not much from there. But again, as we were saying, do you, do you think this is a tactic from Peter? Have you, have you noticed? He's just happy to sit there. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the issue is with these shots that they're not doing anything and, and Peter's going to look to either turn into the man and re-shrimp for the guard or he's going to turn to his knees and scramble. 
There we or, go. As I say, he shrimps. Or he's just going to do what we saw last time, just sit and wait. I think Peter knows he's going to have the upper hand on the stand-up. Yeah. And I wonder if that, if this is perhaps a tactic of his, just to keep quiet on the ground. Yeah. I have to say, though, if, if Peter keeps this quiet, he's going to lose this round. Uh, you know, I mean, it could swing towards Javier if, if the round continues in this fashion. He's doing more work, dominant position. Uh, I feel Peter needs to do a, a tad more work, a uh, piece of work now. Um, I mean, you were, you were saying about um, Javier perhaps moving round to north-south, something on those yeah. lines. With Peter's right arm where it is, would it be easy enough for him to take that arm, move round, perhaps go for a Kimura from there? Yeah, I mean, he's almost, if you look at it now, he's almost there. If he, if he transits round, I feel uh, it'd get more open. There we go. There we go. Now, Peter's done a good thing. It's, I'll see what he's done. Yeah, he's turned to, a, he's turned to his side to stop, stop the head Javier. control. And also stop Javier from taking that forearm, perhaps. Yeah. Is that, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's tied off well. He's not. He's not in any danger. Uh, I just feel this is a bet. Now these shots, uh, they're, they're not going to add up to much. But uh, it just on the scorecards, you know, it looks like he's doing more work. And that's, you know, if he's going to win by decision, that's what he needs. Javier is doing pretty good. Uh, he's keeping active. Yeah, I think the weight. Oh, nearly, uh, he's good at scrambling this Peter. Now the weight may work against him especially in this position and there we go well you've got to give that to Javier now Peter's going to have to pull his finger up for this round which I'm sure he will it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an interesting one I mean um, you know we've had a lot of quick fights tonight but both these guys are far more uh, technical fighters as well they're not going to go out you know they're not in uh, and I don't mean this in a sort of disrespectful way but the likes of Wesley Merch and those guys who are relatively new to the pro scene, you know, they'll take their time, they'll try and pick their opponent apart. Um, yeah, it's, it's a more methodical game. As, as the fight mutates in this round, I'm sure we'll see some, some more skills coming out, but you're right, yeah, absolutely. So, in a, in a nutshell, though, Anger has ju just got to pick it up. Yeah, second sure. Round. Yeah, he's got to go up a gear for this one. I'd have to give Garcia that round, I'm afraid. I wonder if perhaps it was a tactic by if it was a tactic by Peter just to try and stay quiet on the ground in the hope that Andy Davis would stand it up. Possibly, uh, or he's baiting him in for this round. You know, you never know. Peter's a clever boy, so uh, let's have a look. Clever boy and a fun-loving guy as well. From when I was talking to him earlier. Garcia is good with that low kick. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, good takedown. He's back in that position again. Okay, Peter needs to make some of this now. Now Garcia, as you were saying, he is strong with that leg kick. I've literally seen him take someone off their feet. Yeah. With that leg kick before now. And uh, you know, it, it kind of makes you wonder. But I was going to say on the stand up, if, if you look at it, even even just when they're sort of squaring, you know, squaring up, so to speak. Um, you spot anger, you know, in his movement. He's moving, you know, all the time. Whereas uh, Garcia seems quite flat-footed. Yeah. And Peter's got his head sort of buried in uh, Garcia's armpit. He's sort of like a meerkat in the hole. You know. He's going to pop his head out, have a look, work for position, and when Garcia strikes, he's going to stick his head back in. Uh, Good control of the head, Garcia there. Piece of checking off the hip. Possibly trying to look into regain guard. Yeah, I mean, essentially you've got two options here, haven't you? You can re shrimp for the guard and you can turn to your knees. Now it's, it's just a little thing that someone uh, grappled, well, aptly so, as Gaz Royston uh, pointed out to me some mm. time ago. Um, when you've got that side control, you're holding the knee up, you know, to guard them off, yeah. getting any sort of full mount or advantageous position. Mm -hmm. Now, what Gaz was explaining to me, he said instead of the far leg, as people, not that I'm one to criticise people, but yeah. <laughs> just a sort of observation. Um, Robertson was actually saying 
use the near leg. That way, as soon as the guy, say if he rises up for a knee, brings that yeah. knee back or something, you've got that leg closest to them. You've got a foot lock. Exactly. Yeah. No, I agree. You've got an you you instant figure four. Actually, Ricky Young showed me that about five or six years ago. Uh, and, and as you're saying, no, nobody takes it. I, I'm surprised that more people... He's getting some good damage in now. Uh, but you're right, yeah, that, that leg can be taken. Now, is that a, I believe Anger has got a, it looks like a cut on his left yeah, eye. Yeah, I mean, there was some inactivity there where the, where the ref was having a look. I think he's got a cut over the brow. Um, we'll have to see how that holds up. I, I think I can see some blood down the cheek. Garcia is, I mean, this surprises me, you know, for a guy like, like Anger who's, you know, been up against the likes of Shoney Carter, you know, amongst others, you know, or, all right, you've got the Abu Dubai, Dabi, sorry. Yeah. Um, I well, have to I, say, this I, is surprising. Yeah, me. I expected a, a little more from Peter. Now, it, it, it could be the weight differential. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. But, I mean, at the, at the moment, I mean, yeah, we were saying in the first round, oh, yeah, maybe... Maybe Andrew is perhaps luring him into false sense security. Maybe he's looking for the fight to get stood up. Or yeah, well, I just feel, be. you know, Garcia is controlling for, for both these rounds, frankly. Yeah. And he, he looks to have opened the cut. They've worked a good game out of Team Espana today and uh, looks to be working. Looking for the Kimura. Oh, that's it. There we go. Jobs are good. And I don't think Pete was on form tonight, I have to say. He's, uh, he didn't look like he was with it. A good effort there. Javier is, is going up and up and he's he, he does better every fight, you know. That, that was a good one. I was going to say, I'm, I'm impressed by Javier there. Uh, I've seen him in previous fights. You know, he's always looked good, but he just seemed to have more aggression in that one, landing more yeah. strikes. Normally, he's very much a grappling fighter when he's on the sure. ground. He has, you know, he's beat a very credible opponent tonight uh, and that's, that's a fantastic one for his fight record there. Mm. It's, it's interesting to see when you get guys like this, though. I mean, you, you know, we've, we've seen it in other fighters as well. You know, you get these situations like uh, Anger tonight. A lot of people would have put Garcia for it. Um, Garcia down to lose, so. Yeah. Well done, Javier. Good bout. Good one for the fight record there.